Hello all and today we will discuss how to host a static website on Amazon S3. Before we jump into the demo, let us review the steps that we will follow to achieve this. So the first thing that we will do is we will create a bucket and configure it as a static website. Shortly we will see how we can do this. Second thing that we will do is we will add a bucket policy that makes our bucket uh, content publicly available and we will basically be providing read-only access to all the objects in a bucket. The next thing that we will do is we will upload a few HTML documents and I have created a few sample documents that we can use along with an index.html uh, document. And finally, we will test our website. I would certainly recommend you that you refer to this link that I have mentioned below over here. Uh, for our review, I've actually opened up the link. It's right here. This is the link. And this actually talks about all the steps that uh, we just enlisted a few minutes back, as you see, it's right here. What I want you to refer over here specifically is this bucket policy. As you see, it's right here. It's currently highlighted. So ensure that uh, you know you use this bucket policy. You can actually copy it from here. It gives you the option to copy. And as you see, the bucket policy allows a public read. It's right here. Public read to all the objects within the bucket. Okay. Now, when you're using this policy, ensure that you replace the example bucket name over here with the bucket name that you of your bucket or the bucket name that you plan to use for your bucket okay so let's go ahead and uh, and you know create a static website so let me quickly switch to my aws account so it's right here here is s3 and you would typically find s3 under storage so as you see it's right there so let's click on s3 okay now the first thing that we will do is we will create a bucket. So I'm going to create a new bucket and I'm going to give it a good name, Nam Static Website on S3. This is the name that I'm going to give. I'd actually done this uh, earlier. So I'm getting the name as a part of the auto populate drop down, but you can use your own name over here. I'm going to create this bucket uh, in the region East US. Okay, click on next. And I'm not going to enable any versioning or service access logging at this time, or uh, even object level logging or any encryption. So I'm just going to go ahead and click next. I'm going to leave the default access at this time. As we discussed earlier, we will use the bucket policy to enable public access, uh, read access to the objects in our bucket. Okay, and then finally, let's go ahead and create this bucket. Okay, so I've created this bucket. Now let's go ahead and go to properties. Okay, and click on static website hosting. So use this uh, bucket to host a website. Okay. And I'm going to give the index document over here as index.html and the error document as error.html and click on save. Okay, so as you see, bucket hosting has been enabled. The next thing that we need to do is we need to go to permissions. Okay, and then click on bucket policy. Now let's go back to our uh, AWS uh, page and let's copy the policy from here. So I'm going to click on copy and paste the policy right there. Now remember that we have to replace our bucket name. So let's go ahead and do that. So replace your bucket name right here. And as you see, my bucket name is Nam Static. Uh, website on S3 and go ahead and 
click on save okay so as you see it is giving us a message that hey this is not recommended but at, for the demo purposes we'll go ahead with this okay so now this has now become a public bucket as you see you can see public right below the bucket right okay so we can now go ahead and upload a few documents so i've created a few documents right here as you see i've created three html files so let's review them so this is my uh, index.html as you see um, i basically have a header over here saying index.html and i've created a link right here to another page that i have created which is nam.html which is this page it has nothing else it's just again has a header over here saying that this is nam.html from my static website and i've created the error page uh, error.html which again has uh, an header saying that this is error.html for my static website so let's go ahead and upload these three documents so click on upload add files and we need to basically go to a static website right here okay select these three pages click on open okay next i'm going to leave everything default next next upload and our three pages uh, have been uploaded over here as you see right okay so click on index.html uh, this is a public website now so if we click on index.html we should be able to view it so let's click on this link so there it is there is a page and this is index.html for my static website i would like to draw your attention to the, the address for this static website as you see the address is let me copy it the address is s3 amazon aws.com so this remains static okay then is your bucket name right here this is my bucket name and then finally the page that is index.html okay so this is the static page that we created so any page let's say next one if i have it will be nam.html or error.html or whatever the case may be but keep this in mind this is very important they do ask this in the exam sometimes as to hey what is the url uh, for s3 so it is remember s3 amazon aws.com your bucket name and then finally your page name right here okay so let's go ahead and click on nam over here this is the link and this link will uh, connect us to nam.html so let's click on that and as you see this is my nam.html page see the website url again i'm going to copy it and the website url is nam.html right here again s3 amazon aws.com my bucket name right here and nam.html okay so this is it from me guys uh, just wanted to showcase you that how you could use s3 to kind of you know host a static website hope this uh, video was helpful please feel free to post your comments down below and provide feedback um, also if you would like me to uh, create videos on any specific topic do let me know and i can certainly ensure that i have those videos created and posted as soon as possible thank you and have a nice day bye bye